We have breaking news right now. Four-star quarterback Jaden Rashada has requested his release from his recently signed letter of intent with the University of Florida. On three, NIL reporter Pete Nakos with the breaking news. Rashad is a top 100 player, the number 65th best player overall in the seventh ranked quarterback in the 2023 class. This comes less than a month after Rashada signed his letter of intent with Florida. And today, the week that he was expected to enroll early in Gainesville, Rashada is asking out. Guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to the On3 YouTube page. We are your best source for all recruiting news and college. Hit that subscribe button for me. It'll do us wonders. Thank you. All right, let's reset this for a second. Rashada commits to Miami over the summer. You guys remember that. It was very involved. John Ruiz, Mario Cristobal, they got it done. He was committed to the Hurricanes. Well, then during the fall, Rashada shocked the world by flipping to UF in November. It was a late night commitment that kind of sparked the fan base and Gator recruiting. You got to remember at the time, the Gators were struggling on the field, but they land a commitment from Rashada. They steal one from their rival and it all seemed like it was going in the right direction, but maybe the signs were there. On National Signing Day, Jaden Rashada was the last recruit in the Gators 23 class that was signing early to fax in his NLI. Fans were concerned. They wanted to know why the headliner of their class was the only one that had not sent in his LOI. Now, things were kind of, it was unknown why exactly he didn't, but it was brushed under the rug. Everybody moved on because he did fax it in. Billy Napier actually held off on his signing day presser until that Rashada fax came in so that he could officially speak on him. But looking back at it now, the delay was a sign of things to come. The delay signified that the NIL package that Rashada was promised had soured. And we know how much NIL played into this decision. Miami's John Ruiz is known for offering lucrative NIL packages to players. But at the time of his original commitment to Miami, Rashada's attorney recognized the NIL deals being offered and said that it wasn't all about the money. That was when he committed to Miami. Michael Caspiano, Rashada's attorney told on three at the time that Jaden missed out on millions. Quote, he did not pick the highest offer. He went to Miami because he loves them, the coaches and the opportunity. That was during the summer. His mind changed in November when the Gators were able to flip him from Miami. But there were several NIL missteps that occurred along the way. And now we find ourselves in the situation that we're in with Jaden Rashada likely going back out on the open market once he is granted his release. So what's next if Rashada gets his release? Well, the chances of him being an early enrollee are pretty much out of the picture. There's some schools that could possibly get him in, but if this thing doesn't turn around quickly, I do not see him being an early enrollee at UF or anywhere. If he is granted his release, he could take visits. He can't take any official visits because he's already taken his five, but he could go anywhere unofficially on his own dime. When will he make a decision? He has between February 1st, when the late signing period opens, until April 1st. Most, most recruits make their decisions on signing day, February 1st, but that's the first day you can sign, not the last day you can sign. The window stays open for a month. So we'll have to see if Jaden Rashada is ready to announce a new decision by February 1st if he hits the open market. Then the next question that you probably have is who's in it? Well, we don't really know. One, because Rashada hasn't been granted his release officially yet, but also because it's happening as we speak. But I have a couple guesses on who could be involved. I would look at the West Coast. Jaden Rashada from Pittsburgh, California. Maybe he could look at Cal, Utah, but maybe Arizona State. Newly acquired head coach Kenny Dillingham is there, and you know he wants to make some noise. Four-star Jaden Rashada. It could be a fit for the Sun Devils. Watch them. Colorado, how could I mention Jaden Rashada, big time quarterback back on the market without mentioning Coach Prime? He ain't hard to find. He's right there in Boulder, Colorado, and we know they would love to make a splash. Hey, going out and signing a quarterback that was head of the SEC to the Florida Gators, it could be just what Dion's looking for. 
Jaden Rashada could also look to remain in the SEC. He signed with the Gators for a reason. He wanted to play in the South. It was Miami. It was Florida. He was all set to go to the Gainesville, but then he asked out of his letter of intent. Auburn doesn't have a quarterback. Ole Miss doesn't have a quarterback. I'm sure Kentucky, a program like Missouri, they could be open to Jaden Rashada. So I think that those three options are most likely, but we'll see what happens if and when he is granted that release. All right, so to recap the next step in this process, we need to see first, does Jaden Rashada get his release? If he gets his release, who's involved? Does he take some visits? And then third, when does he sign? Will it be on February 1st with all the late enrollees or will it be later than that? Because he has the window from February 1st to April 1st to make his decision and sign with the new team if and when that grant that release is granted. We'll just have to see how this plays out. Stick with On3 for all the latest Jaden Rashada news. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me and remember to check out all the videos on the On3 YouTube page.